the news came out recently, and the reason why you are now the former managing editor, well, part of the reason, I should say, is because we have unfortunately lost all of Metroland's community papers, which includes the uh, Gravener's Banner and the many others in our area. What role do you think that plays in all of this? Because while some may say newspapers are not something anyone reads anymore, that could not be farther from the truth, especially in our small community. The newspaper was something people read every single day to find out what was going on in their community. Yeah. With the loss of that paper, what role do you think that will play, not necessarily in this issue, but the overarching issue of misinformation, which, as you mentioned, has not been getting any better in the past few years. It's mm -hmm. only been getting worse. Yeah, it, it breaks my heart. We've lost the Forester, the Examiner, the Banner. I mean, MuskokaRegion.com is there. There are still journalists there. There are still 60 years in, in three journalists alone of, of knowledge of reporting on this community. So that's there, but th that's digital. Whereas with the newspapers, it was delivered into most driveways and people were able to read it and it was reliable journalism. Um, when we start going into the computer, there's so much that's distracting. Um, and, and there is so much disinformation uh, there and, and, and people are being targeted with it. So yeah, the loss of newspapers is not good and, and it comes back to where does that come from? It comes from all of the advertising dollars going to Google and Facebook, going to social media, going to the center of the problem. Um, it's, it's, it's a really terrible dragon eating its tail um, and who loses in it is the community. Certainly. Well, thankfully at this table we have three people who spread not misinformation but information between <laughs> the South Muskoka and Huntsville Dopplers, right, yeah. MuskokaRegion.com and of course, not to toot my own horn, but Moose FM, MyMuskokaNow.com. Yes.